Um, you know, with that, because I, I know um, uh, Jonathan Haidt ha has, has talked about this, uh, about um, the level of depression among college students, too, where they aren't able to, to handle this. And, you know, when, when, I, hear about, when I hear about that, I, it definitely changes the way that I look at the, resp the way that they're responding to these things, where it's like, ooh, at least I have a little bit of an idea of where they're coming from. But I wonder, how do you then change, change mm -hmm. things so that yeah. they are capable uh, of doing that because because one thing it's so easy to to just say oh snowflakes and yeah and yeah, and, 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 and you can get down on the quote unquote helicopter parents when yeah, even if you don't want yeah. a helicopter you leave your kid in the car and arrested. somebody yeah, yeah. screams at you so, so I, yeah, I so like what you know what, what can, I have an answer what I can have, you do call on do, me does anybody Mr. here know <laughs> does anybody here know yeah. Yeah. please okay, please I speak your language right 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 yeah. so let grow has two things that we're doing yeah. in schools one is the let grow project where teachers tell the kids to go home and they have to do for with their homework one thing on their own run an errand, um, you know, make dinner, walk to a friend's house, get yourself to the bus. And because everyone else is doing it and because you're forced to do it by the school, the parents who have been, who they don't know where the milestones are anymore. You know, they don't know what age you can let your kid play outside or trick or treat. So, but everybody's doing it. So they let their kids do it. And then the kids start comparing notes. I went to the store. Oh, I went and got a Slurpee. And then it becomes normal again. And the people who are the most excited by it are parents because they're so proud when the kid comes right. home and they've done yeah. something on their own. So that sort of breaks the ice. And the other thing is keeping the schools open for free play after school so you have all these kids, all different ages, coming up with a game, arguing about it, changing the rules. That's democracy. And they're off their devices. So they're just playing like we used to do. I don't know with the horses in Uzbekistan, but the rest of us <laughs> here in our country. <laughs>